in the previous video you learned how to use attribute match type wildcard now in this video you are going to learn attribute match type dynamic to tell you more about this i'm going to open the centric data solutions objects okay because we are going to use attribute match type dynamic that can be accessed from this application modeler so i will just open this one now here if you'll see this is the login window click on this match now I'm going to show you three examples. One that we have window text, second the staff number, and third is the password text box. Okay, so in the login window, here you can see we have window text. So instead of passing this value, a hard coded value, this uh, window text here, you can take this value from Object Studio. To change this from equal match type to dynamic, we have to click on that and select dynamic. Okay, once you we'll click on dynamic, this value will be disabled. Now, this value can be taken it from this object studio. Now, I'm going to take it now another example for a staff number. So, in the staff number, if you can see, we have y value. So, this 286, that will take it from the object studio, not from the application modeler. So, instead of passing that value directly in the application modeler, this attribute, we can take it from the object studio, that stage. So I will just click on this match type equal and then select dynamic and now you can see this is disabled. Same way I will go to password and I will click on this and select dynamics. So we have 357 and here we have 286 and in the login window we have to pass window text. Okay, now I will click on apply click close. So I will click on this login because you remember we have used window text for the login window element as a dynamic and for a staff number element we have one attribute that is y we have set it as a dynamic and then for password we have set y as a dynamic right so if we'll click on this wait stage and you can see this three option is enabled here this option will only be enabled if you have set this any attribute from this login window from this uh, element as a dynamic right so you remember for this login window element we have one attribute that is window text that we have set as a dynamic right so once you'll click on this you can see here window text equals so that value we need to pass it here you can pass that value click okay now click okay now we'll go to this type a staff number so here you can see we have two elements one for staff number text box second for password text box here also you can see this is enabled because in the staff number element we have one attribute that is y where we have set as a dynamic and in the password text box this is also enable this option here because in the password text box element we have set y attribute as a dynamic right so that value we need to pass it here so if we we'll click on this it is again asking that y value will pass it from here so it was 286 we'll pass it from here click on this we'll put here 357 that was for the password now click ok click ok and basically i have designed this code to take the username and password from process studio now let's say i'm just putting here that username and password so that it can pass here it can walk here now click on launch now right click here set next stage let me just click on step step and you can see it worked fine here because here it is able to check that the login window check exist it means that value is there right let me click on step over and you can see here it has successfully entered the username and password here now let's say i'm going to just make some mistakes so that you can see it's working or not i'm going to just make some changes to the wait for login okay i'll click on this and let's say 
if you are doing some mistake here like you just put here centric data solutions please log and click ok then what will happen let me click ok and let me just remove this and go to this right click set next stage and click on a step and you will see here it is not able to identify this window this application because window text is not equal to Centrix data solutions please log in so it's going to time out and then after that it will throw an exception this because here we are passing value that is not matching with this window now if you want to fix this also you can either put it same as that or you can see match type here you can click on that and select match type wildcard and you can remove and you can put here asterisk and now click ok click ok reset this right click set next stage and you can see here it's working fine because we put there a star as a wildcard now one more thing if you don't want to pass this value that hard-coded value you want to take it from any data item stage then what you can do you can take a data item that is for staff number y value this will be text and then you can put here that value is 286 click ok now go to this type a staff number click on this parameter instead of passing this hard-coded value you can click on that calculator or you can say as a expression editor and you can pass it from here by going to text and take this value here okay click ok or what you can do you can directly go to this text and you can take it directly here staff number y and here also you can you you can take it from a data item stage or you can pass it as a hard-coded value now click ok I'm going to show you again let me right click set next stage step over and you can see it's working right you saw that how to pass that value dynamically from this wait stage and then this write stage to that application modeler and it worked fine I hope this is useful thank you